In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His Mother, to be our Mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your Church may be more fruitful day by day and exulting in the holiness of her children. May draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All this devoted themselves with one accord to prayer. Together with some women and Mary, the mother of Jesus and his brothers, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter by the Most High God, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Please stand.
O joyful virgin who gave birth to the Lord, O blessed mother of the church who nurture in us the spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of the week was a solemn one. So the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. First of all, let us uh, thank the Lord for gathering us once again in this uh, beautiful uh, Monday afternoon. And we are also blessed to be with us, Father Ace, from the Diocese of San Jose, Nueva Ecija, together with his uh, parishioners na nandito po kasama natin ngayong tanghaling ito sa ating pagdiriwang. And today also, the whole church celebrates the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. While reflecting on this celebration and our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I was reminded by a story that is told of a mother when she discovered that her two children who live in the same town were rarely seeing each other, decided to write them letters with the first page sent to one and the second page to the other. It then forced the two siblings to see each other and to spend time together 
so they could read their mother's letters in full. Only a mother could think of a solution like that. As I have said, today we celebrate Mary not only as a mother of our Savior, but also our mother, the mother of the Church. And as we celebrate her memorial, reading and reflecting our Gospel for today, it reminds us and we recall the moment when Mary fulfilled the prescribed law of purification. She presented Jesus in the temple, and at the temple, there was a man named Simeon, whom by the Holy Spirit promised that he would not see death until he would see the Christ, the Chosen One, and prophesied that Mary's heart would be pierced with a sword. And it happened in our Gospel for today. The very words of Simeon became a reality to Mary. On the cross, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Entrusting his loving mother to his beloved disciple, whose interpretation somehow our Lord entrusted his mother to the church as represented by his disciple. And if we put ourselves in Mary's place, we can feel the sword inflicted pain she carried in her heart. Who can stand the sight of Mary looking sorrowfully at his loving son, suffering, exhausted, dejected, thirsty, and dying due to so much pain? But here, we see a loving mother. Strong Mary opted to be at her son's side till the end. A mother who yielded totally to the holy will of the Father. A mother who did not stop treasuring every moment with her son and a mother who opened the heart of many individuals who love God. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us look at Mary, the mother of the church, whose loving heart was pierced with sorrow and yet did not lose hope for the divine plan of the Father. We, too, have our own sufferings, problems, trials, and difficulties as individual and as a church. Like Mary, the mother of the church, let us put our trust in God, who knows everything, He who holds a great plan for each one of us, and whose love is everlasting. He who is with us always will surely give us the necessary graces to overcome all the trials and tests of life. Let us turn to Mary, the mother of our Savior, the mother of our church, so we could get strength and courage to go on as a community and as a faithful whose loving heart would not stop to bring us 
and get closer to her son. Please stand. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata at Petendam Pluviam. God, our, our loving, loving Father, Father, creator of our earth and of the universe, and of all the wondrous elements of nature that sustain your living creatures, we humbly ask you to grant us relief from the extreme heat that besets your people at this time disrupting their activities and threatening their lives and livelihood. Send us rain to replenish our depleting water sources, to irrigate our fields, to stave off water and power shortages, and to provide water for our daily needs. At your command, the wind and the seas obey. Raise your hand, Almighty God, to avert the continuing rise in temperatures so that your people can engage in productive undertakings and our young people can pursue learning and tranquility and comfort. Merciful and generous God, open our eyes to the richness and beauty of your creation and instill in us a deep love for this earth and all that is in and around it. Teach us to be wise stewards of your creation so that we may always use them responsibly and protect them from abuse and exploitation. At this time of crisis, dear Lord, move us to share more, to serve more, and to love more. Loving God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you entrusted the Filipino people to the special care of Mary, our mother. Listen to the prayers that we bring up to her our Blessed Mother, to intercede for us for the protection of our land and our people, whom she loves. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumso. Pray for us. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb and giving birth to the Creator. She nurtured the beginnings of the church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love. She took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit who had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church homeland steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels, we and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel and through the grace of an outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.